for me, I felt like it was the portrayal of Hamlet. Like, I just kind of had this preconceived notion of what it was going to be. And there was just so much, like, um, like, he brought just a very different energy than I expected. And then just seeing how all the cast, like, melded and it was, like, perfect. It was just, it was really cool. I So I was just kind of, like, it was... It was neat. Like, I think reading over the script beforehand, I was like, man, this is so dark. <laughs> and, and then, um, not that it wasn't heavy material, but, like, he just approached it in a very, like, authentic and just, like, I guess the character isn't really scared of death when he's talking about it. He's kind of, like, just, um, or at least the portrayal that Sam brought to it, like, was just kind of, like musing over things in his mind and like you just see him processing a lot of stuff and it was very authentic and human and so I I liked that I thought that was really interesting I love the entire I just I've been a fan of this play for many years so I enjoyed every word that came out of everyone's mouth during that production I uh, I still have you know I still remember it well and I mean we sat there every night and uh, yeah, I, I, like I was never bored. <laughs> yeah, I was never, I just listened for, for everything. I, I noticed when someone said something differently or, or did something uh, uh, differently or missed a, a, a line. Uh, so I enjoy, as a fan I enjoyed it very, very much. There were even times when I lamented that I was actually underscoring it because I wanted to be in the it. audience yeah. and not have to think about uh, oh, I gotta do something. Uh, um, but on the other hand, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I was able to, to, to be a part of that. And I'm, I'm realized now that if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna be given a project, uh, it's you don't want to work too much on it on it uh, ahead of time. You kind of have to wait till everyone else has their ideas in place, uh, and then kind of work with whoever you're you're going to be working with. Mm -hmm. I think including the cast mm -hmm. that also de determines how you're going to compose. We had actually a, had an idea, an idea that we now almost are ashamed to bring up. <laughs> the idea of possibly because I. She asked me, or I don't know, I think she prompted me to choose a speech from Hamlet and to write a song with, that, with those words. And so I chose one of my favorite speeches, which is this, uh, how all occasions in, do inform themselves against me. And I uh, wrote a song with all, every single word. I, I didn't change it. Um, and it came out really well, and Denise loved it and felt it was it really expressed very well uh, what Hamlet was feeling. And uh, so the idea was, well, how many more of these can we do, and would it be possible to have a singing Hamlet? Like a musical, like a almost. Like opera yeah. Hamlet, you know? And, of course, the very idea of it, you know, I, I, I thought, Oh, that's just ridiculous. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see that. I brought those ideas, and, uh, and she had many. She had, to, she had a different angle. We were both coming from very different angles, yep. and uh, I get, and, and it was the big challenge was to try and uh, fuse those together, uh, and also to come up with just new ideas together, uh, which we did. Yeah, we came in like pretty like on very different sides yeah. and then but I feel after we we kind of got over a little hump I think it was after we wrote that he is dead and God I think after that we were oh, like oh that was so hard to do I know too, it was because I had had a previous idea and I had too like some, yeah it was some folky pop number from the 70s or yeah. something <laughs> like and it was cute and everything but Denise was like no no and then she had come up with something that was really nice. I it was don't know. more like, 
I don't, I don't know. Like well, it was more theatrical, or more like uh, Disney-ish or whatever, Lion King-ish or like like Miz, I think. Or like Miz, you know, that's more kind of. Yeah, it was, it was very complex. different. It was really complex. And it was and so beautiful. we had to just come together. Was like, mm -hmm. Yeah, after seeing it in context, it was <laughs> so, like it's yeah, not exactly. working. And so we had yeah. to come together, and I feel like after we wrote that, we were pretty much like on the same yeah. page. Like I remember there was one yeah. um, entrance. When we first see Polonius's family, do you remember how we yeah. had to kind of adapt that? That's like, right. We had come in with something that was a little more foreboding, and then it was like, yeah. "That's not what's happening on stage. Yeah, it's exactly. not it comical. Yeah, it's sweet. Of. Like we, our guard should be down. So you have to make sure that the music is not um, meaningless in any way. Like it has ex as much motivation and intention as every word in." Um, the play. And also I think for both of us we had to go and kind of like study the script and listen to what the actors are bringing to the table because there's some lines where if you just read the script you might get a completely different idea and then when you see it it's like oh it's that type of moment. Oh. Mm. I think kind of a preliminary thing is something that I still do a lot is like just become um, become sensitive to scores. I think in movies is the easiest way for us most of the time, but like just really listen like um, there's classes you can take at Belmont that are like about scoring and stuff, but like if you're kind of just like on your own, just like really listen to how the score interacts with the movie. Pay, time, pay attention to the times that yeah, just like how, how it interacts and there's sometimes where you it feels like it almost disappears for a little bit, but then you go back and listen to the soundtrack, and like, oh, it was there, and it was doing this, which was going perfectly with this moment, which is why I didn't hear it. So that, like, just really like hone in on like what scores are doing and stuff like that, and then, I mean, just start like, especially if you want to get involved in theater, like, you just gotta start going to different plays around town. Like, you just start, like, getting to know theater companies in the area, and, like, there's always, you'll always know somebody that works with, or somebody that knows somebody that works with them. But, like, I mean, just be there. Like, a lot of, sometimes you'll just get gigs by being in the right place. But, like, if you want to work with theater, you should be, going and seeing theater and supporting theater and getting to love the art form. Especially people from Belmont, people that are musicians, like, I just think of like, let it be the best that it can be for the play, mm -hmm. and I hope that people will appreciate that and respect that, and that's, yeah, that's where my mind is. I think.